Technology long overdue from the U.S. government, President Joe Biden today apologized for native boarding school policies that left lasting scars on generations. Lorna Maxwell has the story. The federal government has never, never formally apologized for what happened until today. I formally apologize as President of the United States of America for what we did. Biden made the remarks in front of tribal leaders in Arizona, referencing a 150-year-old boarding school policy that removed Native American children from their parents and forced them into boarding schools where they were stripped of their cultural heritage and often abused. Federal Indian boarding school policy, the pain it has caused, will always be a significant mark of shame, a blot on American history. The policy ended in 1969, but for many, the scars remain. I think people would be just horrified to know what we went through, the, uh, the physical abuse, the emotional abuse, and, you know, just treating us like, like we were slaves. Alaskan and, anthropologist uh, Rosita Wuerl was surprised to hear her name specifically mentioned in Biden's speech. Including... Rosetta Roll, Alaska native. Whirl, who is 87, says his words brought back dark memories from the time she was six, taken from her home in Petersburg to spend three years in a boarding school in Haines. But at nighttime, it was so sad because you'd hear, you know, uh, a dormitory full of, of young kids crying and myself, you know, crying and wondering, why am I here? Why am I here? And um, it, 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 was, it was very difficult. Whirl says even years later, the apology is meaningful. It is important because it is having the president of the United States, you know, make that apology, I think brings this issue to the forefront. Like many others, she wants to make sure the children who suffered are not forgotten. Lauren Maxwell, Alaska's news source. The Alaska Federation of Natives called it an important first step, but is supporting a bill in Congress that would create a Truth and Healing Commission to further document injustices relating to boarding schools.